morning guys this is Robert with RGV off the hook here and we are at Portmansville we do a little bit of fishing but first uh, I'm gonna show you how to uh, catch bait in case you forget your casting net or if you if you don't have one you can use a simple reel with some bait I bought some um, some shrimp the wild uh, raised shrimp or wild caught at HEB and we're gonna use this to catch some bait all right let me show uh, let me set it up and then I'll show you all right guys so what we're using they're called a saviki rig they're, I don't know if the camera will focus on there but it's a very small hook that's where we're gonna hook our bait and you don't need a, a big piece of bait to do this all right all right guys so we got our bait on there check it out very very small piece let's do this as you can tell it doesn't take long check it out what we're after some pinfish this is a good size to put on a hook cast it live let it swim around you'll see That's a perfect size right there guys. That is a perfect size pin fish. Now once again guys, you don't need a lot of bait. As you can see, look, I just have very little bait on there. Free bait. We ain't got to pay for this one. Gone, but that's how you catch live bait, guys. All right. Perfect size bait right here, guys. It's a nice, nice pinfish. So what's the result so far? We've been here like maybe 15 minutes. Let me show you. Look at that, we got 12 nice finger size pinfish. This would have cost us $12 at the bait shop. 
So this is one way of us utilizing and uh, being able to, you know, use whatever little resources we have. If you don't have a casting net or if you happen to forget it, always carry a small pole with some saviki rigs or you can use the hooks that are called panfish hooks, which is for crappie. Uh, and just use a, I was using shrimp, but you can use anything. I bought this shrimp at HEB. I just bought like 10 pieces of it for like two something. You go here, the box is like five bucks right now. It's expensive and I understand that because of diesel and everything, they have to raise the prices. Uh, but this is one way, you know, if you're on a budget and you want to use live bait, a lot of people don't use pinfish. Pinfish is great, great bait for trout, guys. If you love trout, you'll hook up with these, all right? So I'm hoping that this tip helps you and see you on the water next time. RGB off the hook.